The Dire Wolf, a sigil of House Stark in Game of Thrones, extinct for over 10,000 years. This week, Colossal Bioscience has announced they've de-extinct the species. But have they actually? Just weeks ago, we introduced you to the Woolly Mouse, another adorable genetic creation from the same team at Colossal, led by Chief Science Officer Dr. Beth Shapiro and Chief Animal Officer Dr. Matt James. This time using CRISPR, Colossal's team edited 14 genes in gray wolf embryos to reflect dire wolf traits. Larger size, white fur, a prehistoric look. The embryos were implanted in domestic dog surrogates, resulting in three pups, Romulus, Remus, and Khaleesi. The first two named for the mythical founders of Rome, and the last a nod to Westeros lore. But there's a monumental difference between the woolly mice and these wolves. The mice were never extinct to begin with, they were entirely new. These wolves, Colossal claims, are de-extinct, bringing the past back to life. That claim is controversial, and with good reason. Dr. Nick Rollins, a paleontologist at the University of Otago, told Vox, the gray wolf genome contains roughly 2.4 billion DNA letters. Even with a 99.5% match to dire wolves, it still leaves 12 million differences. Editing just 14 genes barely scratches the surface. As Dr. Rollins concludes, a gray wolf with 20 edits is still very much a gray wolf. So in a way, Romulus, Remus, and Khaleesi aren't dire wolves brought back. They're what we imagine dire wolves might have been. And that sparks bigger questions. Are we reviving extinct species or designing high-tech imitations? What does this mean for ecosystems, for ethics, for the future of conservation? Now, whether or not you call it de-extinction, this work is expanding what's possible in synthetic biology. We at World Technology congratulate Dr. Beth Shapiro, Dr. Matt James, and Colossal's 130 scientists for driving the science forward, even when the answers aren't so simple.